Hey there everyone, welcome to the Titanfall Parkour Guide, your one-stop shop for mastering your mobility. We're starting off with a table of contents, so be sure to turn your annotations on and feel free to click through to whichever section of the video interests you most if you feel so inclined. The clicking noises that you hear throughout the video are samples of my spacebar that I'm adding in post-production. They're meant to be an instructional aid to clarify exactly when I'm jumping. Try to time your jumps exactly like I time mine, and you'll be sure to experience success in no time. Without any further ado, let's get started. We'll start with the basics. Chaining between wall runs is a struggle for many new players, so I'll briefly discuss how best to accomplish them and keep as high of a velocity as we possibly can. There's not a lot involved here, so it's a really natural starting point for us. Simply find two parallel walls, start wall running on one, Stay on it for no more than two seconds, and simply hold forward and then quickly tap your jump button. As long as the walls are close enough together, you're going to naturally stick to the next wall. In my opinion, after the first two wall runs or so, you want to minimize the time you spend on each wall that you're touching in order to maximize your overall velocity. So what you want to do is just start barely kissing each wall in order to keep your velocity really high, because getting stuck in the wall running animation is actually going to slow you down uh, rather than speed you up after a certain point, as you can see in these clips here. Next up, uh, falling into wall runs. This is a really, really basic little tactic that I use all the time. I don't really see a whole lot of other people doing it. Basically, all you gotta do is if you're on top of a surface that you can wall run the side of, is just, just you know, kind of hop off and, uh, you know, air strafe into um, whichever side of the thing you want. Or you can double jump right before you hit it to make sure your um, velocity vector is what you need it to be in order to stick to that wall. So, you know, really basic, really simple. Next up, ladder jumps. Uh, these don't really require a whole lot of explanation, but it's definitely a tool that you need to be having in your toolbox at all times. Basically, uh, just find yourself in a corner of with two perpendicular walls. They don't have to be perfectly perpendicular. Um, as long as they're meeting at any sort of angle, whether it be very acute or very obtuse, you can generally still jump between the two walls and ladder your way up and up and up and up and up. Next up, let's go over a couple of more miscellaneous sort of uh, things that you can do with wall runs. One of my favorite tactics to employ is interior wall runs, as you're seeing here. So getting into maps um, on CTF or hardpoint game modes, where you have either a flag or you know a hardpoint station that's locked inside an interior room like this, your ability to bounce around walls and just be an extreme like pain to actually hit by enemies uh, is definitely something that I love abusing whenever possible, especially if I have something like a shotgun or a car SMG with counterweight in my hands. I feel pretty unstoppable whenever I employ this tactic. Next up, there are a lot of surfaces in the game that you're able to wall run on that you might not think was actually initially possible. So try to find any kind of slanted surfaces like you're seeing on top of B point in Angel City right now. You're able to uh, jump straight up and just kind of strafe on top of that little uh, slanted area and you can, you know, pop right on top of it and wall run on it just like you could on any other wall. Same thing applies over here in Training Ground. By the turret, uh, you're able to just jump right on top of that rounded, uh, I guess, base that surrounds the turret. I don't know what else to call it. And, um... And you're able to soar right off it just like you were on any other wall. So uh, you don't always need to be looking for flat surfaces either. So if you're um, playing on a map like, let's say, Oasis, you're able to jump on a lot of the rocks in that map and wall run off those just like they were a normal flat wall. So don't be don't be limited to just the flat walls, um, thinking that those are your only wall run surfaces. You know, you can wall run on a lot of things um, if you're very creative with how you're attacking them. One important thing to note is that normally it's impossible to wall run on the same side two times in a row. You would have to transfer from your left to your right back to your left again. However, with curved walls, this is completely eliminated. You can continue wall running on the same side over and over and over again. Next up, let's talk about air strafing. While we aren't able to pull off Counter-Strike surf map style air strafing in Titanfall, we are able to influence the direction we fly through the air to land some really tight wall runs that we otherwise would be unable to accomplish. Now, this is an advanced technique that's pretty hard to explain. It's something that you're going to have to learn to feel for yourself with practice. When you're airborne, you can hold left or right to strafe while in midair, and it's also possible to slowly turn your mouse towards a target and use forward plus left or right to veer into it. Again, this is something that's really hard to explain and much easier to experience for yourself, so get out there and give it the old college try. 
If you've made it this far, congratulations. Welcome to the more advanced tactics for the video. Uh, zip lines are going to give you full momentum just by simply attaching to them. You don't have to ride them for any more than a couple of feet uh, or, or even, I guess, even a few centimeters almost. Uh, you can just attach to them and then immediately detach and start bunny hopping at huge velocities across any map that has zip lines. Now for one of your most important mobility tools in all of Titanfall, bunny hopping. I'm actually not going to keep blathering throughout the rest of this clip. Uh, just listen very carefully to when I'm jumping and try to simulate exactly what I'm doing and just try to copy it. Uh, and you'll kind of get the feel for things down yourself. Anyways guys, thank you again for watching. I hope you learned something new with this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.